The NFL Draft is done and over, and I am going to be breaking down each and every team and grading out their draft. So check back every day because one team I will do every single day, and I'll have it up here on YouTube for you to watch. We'll go over every prospect that they drafted as well as some key undrafted free agents that they may bring in. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll be sure to address them for you. Also, just be aware of my draft grades. No one fails the draft, especially right after it. Even no one in this draft is going to get a D or an F from me because they, everyone had a talent. Everyone did something. So if you think the grades are a little bit high, that's just me not going to too much extremes. And maybe in three or four years when we look back on this draft, then we can see who really succeeded and who really failed. So sit back, relax, enjoy me as I break down every single team this year. Draft expert Shane Hallam shows off his knowledge. Writing mock drafts, prospects from the best college. Breaking down tape, he might develop a man crush. Tearing up guys, taking questions in a rush. Comparisons, learning lessons. Shane saves the day, oy vey. Hulk or banner, doesn't matter. Listen, cause here's who can play. Alright, today we're going to talk about the Seattle Seahawks, another team that had two first round picks, and we'll see how they did with it. Their very first pick, Russell Okung, offensive tackle from Oklahoma State, best offensive tackle in this draft, fell to them at six, and they cleaned him up. He's not the ideal fit for Alex Gibbs' system, but I do think that Okung is a player that can play any system and he's very good at pass protection he's good in run blocking needs a little bit of an upgrade there but he does everything well great technique good power uses his body and his leverage well pretty good strength so I really like Russell Okung instant left tackle gonna come in there for Walter Jones and start for them their second first round pick they took Earl Thomas safety out of Texas little controversy here because Pete Carroll passed on his own player Taylor Mays safety to get Earl Thomas but Earl Thomas is kind of your ideal. He can play corner or safety, very good in coverage, very good at making plays. He's not great at tackling, needs some work on that. He's very raw, just a redshirt sophomore, and they had two years of college experience before coming out for this draft. So he's going to have to progress a little bit, but he can come in and start and make a difference, be a playmaker on that defense, and that's what they need. And the second, they got Golden Tate, wide receiver from Notre Dame. They actually had... A trade down opportunity here but they passed on that to take Golden Tate their wide receiver core really needs an upgrade TJ Hushman's auto just had surgery Deion Branch isn't where he needs to be they lost Nate Burleson so bring in Golden Tate who's kind of Percy Harvin light you can do a little bit of everything you can line him up as a running back as a wide receiver have him in the slot have him outside he can return kicks and catch balls he's very explosive very good at, at tracking the ball knowing where it is making the catch and going after the catch so I really like this pick for them too and the fourth I got Walter Thurman cornerback from Oregon love that pick as well Walter Thurman is an underrated cornerback in this draft he does everything well you just don't see the huge upside from him but he can come in be solid cover a number two wide receiver and you won't have to worry about the wide receiver that much so I think Walter Thurman going to improve this team someone that Pete Carroll saw a lot of at USC and it shows right here in the fourth end, they got E.J. Wilson, another player that can come and be in a rotation, maybe at defensive end, do a couple different things for them. More of a run blocker. I think that's going to be his forte in on Seattle. They need a little bit of an upgraded defensive end, and I think he can at least come in and start in a rotation from day one. In the fifth, they got Cam Chancellor, safety from Virginia Tech, and this is your in-the-box safety. This is your complement to Earl Thomas. Cam Chancellor, a big hitter. Not a big play guy, not a great coverage guy, but he's good in the box at just taking care of the run game, giving your run support, and worst case, you get a good special teams player. In the sixth, first USC player Pete Carroll took, Anthony McCoy, tight end, had some issues with marijuana, came back positive in the tests, so that's why he fell a little bit, but he's a guy that can do everything. Didn't do that great catching the ball at the combine, but he did do well catching the ball at USC. He's a good blocker. And so he can at least be the number two to John Carlson, be a blocking specialist, and you can throw the ball to him when you really need him to, and he'll catch it. So I like that pick as well. 
Seventh, I got Dexter Davis, defensive man out of Arizona State. A guy that wreaked havoc at, havoc at times for USC. Got into the backfield. A pure pass rusher. Uh, another just high upside pick for them. And then our last pick was Jameson Coons out of Kent State. A guy that played linebacker, converted to tight end. He does a little bit of everything. Reminds me a little bit of James Casey from last year out of Rice who did everything. That's what Jameson Coons is going to be. I think he's a guy that's going to start on the practice squad, develop his skills catching the ball and blocking. And then maybe you can even move him to receiver if you want to and have that going. So as a whole, I like the Seattle Seahawks draft. I give them an A. I think they did pretty well. Um, and, and there really isn't too, too, too many excuse me, undrafted free agents that caught my eye. Now, I, there are a couple that I do want to mention because Pete Carroll went out and got a couple of his USC guys. One guy that I liked was Josh Pinker, safety from USC, can be a good special teams player. Also got Reggie Carter, outside linebacker from UCLA, if he saw a lot of in the Pac-10, who I think is a very, very solid player, another special teams ace. I also like Demarcus Granger, nose tackle from Oklahoma. This guy is dominant when he's in the game. He just never is in the game. Too many injury issues. You never got to see him really on the field much. But if he's healthy, he could make this team. So I like the undrafted free agents they got. Seattle Seahawks got an A. Stay tuned tomorrow for the St. Louis Rams.